Welcome back to Everything House. We are building a cutting board in this video. Um, I wanted to go ahead and practice my routing skills um, and I wanted to make a cutting board. So uh, yeah, I decided to just go ahead and uh, make one. So um, yes, yeah, basically it's a two by two pine. Um, I just got at the local Menards, um, the Select. Um, their hardwood collection isn't as nice as I'd like it to be, but that's another uh, topic. Anyway, so you just go ahead and cut your cubes. I cut them inch and a half thick, because um, two by two is actually inch and a half. I was going to try to glue them up. Didn't like it so much uh, as I was trying to um, tighten it up. So I went to Menards and bought some angle iron. Um, that's uh, going to be a lot more structurally strong when I go ahead and glue everything up. So uh, yeah, there we go. I'm just popping them all together now and it's all about efficiency here because you know you don't have a lot of uh, set time. I'm using type on three which has more set time than two or the original. Um, then I uh, just clamp them all up and um, yep. Yeah we got the glue up going. Um, whew, that was interesting. That was fun. Uh, so I got all the pieces in. Okay. Uh, when I have, I have four clamps holding it tight and then to go ahead and set up my angle iron I put this square underneath that's clamped down so make sure that it's square while I was gluing everything up um, and now we just got to go ahead and let it set up and then uh, trim off all these sand. How's it look? It looks good. I'm just checking those. And it, how is it? Looks great. Looks great? Yes. What are you pointing to? That little part right there. Where, oh this right here? Yeah. All right, here, let's see if I can knock it down. Nope, that's how it stays, and we're going to sand it smooth. Yep. That's all got to be sanded. Planer. No, you can't use a planer on uh, edge grain. Oh, yeah. that's why you run the channel. So, that's where we're at. This angle iron uh, trick is awesome, by the way, because before I tried using boards to go ahead and squeeze it, but as you know, wood is softer than steel. So I went and bought some angle iron. Um, I bought an inch and a half because it's inch and a half uh, thick. Uh, I chopped it up and I'm using that to go ahead and squeeze, you can see better here, to go ahead and go across the cutting board. And then my clamps will hold it and on the steel obviously isn't gonna bend as much and it'll be nice and tight. So uh, I'll leave it for a couple hours and then I can start um, the sanding process. Alrighty. There you go. That was a good one for you. <laughs> yeah, so a couple hours. Um, when I went and took the clamps off, one of the edge pieces popped off, so I just had to re-glue it real quick with some type on two. And uh, now I'm sanding. So, yeah, I like to go ahead and you got to go through the full process with sanding. So I started like 80, and you can't increase by more than half. So 80 to 120 to 220. Um, I think I took this one all the way up to 320, um, just for an experiment, just to do it. But definitely start with low 80, because there's just a lot of glue and whatnot and uh, imperfections. And uh, there I am trying to level it. There was a little bit of a bow in it uh, when I took it out of, out of the clamps. I think it's because I didn't have an opposite uh, clamp on the other side. So when we were pinching off from one side. But um, yeah, I went ahead and um, sanded it smooth was nice and flat that took process believe me and so i went ahead and uh just uh, glued up cut up some uh, edge banding to put around it and uh glued that up and now i'm just giving it the final sanding um i definitely recommend using a vacuum always when you're going to do this kind of volume of sanding your sandpaper goes so much farther and plus you're not breathing in all this all this dust and definitely get some music going because you're going to be there a while and it's so much more pleasant with music, <laughs> let me tell you. Wow, this is so much, looks so much faster <laughs> on a time lapse. <laughs> it felt like it was taking forever. So there's the router. This is my first time really um, building something with the router instead of just playing around with it. It threw a, a quarter inch roundover bit on the edges just to get it nice and smooth. 
um, and nice and you know clean. So then I'm trying to figure out how am I going to cut this juice groove um, it's because it's the you have to have a spacer in order to put the juice groove where you want it. You'll see. So so that's exactly how I did it. I just pushed it against the the fence that I made and made it nice and flat, and then slowly worked my way down to get the depth for the juice groove that I wanted. Then uh, sand it up when I'm done, and then I took some uh, butcher block oil. You see that coming up in a minute, and uh, just finished it off. And it already came out great. It's really easy stuff to work with, and there it is. Um, thank you for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do, and I'll see you in the next video.